In my last video, I remember I talk about different things that can destroy a family. And uh, up to now, I still don't understand why some people have not yet realized that the, their future is in their hands, is in their cooperation as a family. So I don't know why you get married to your partner and you guys don't intend to build up together. So why did you get married? Why do you want to be a family? We can't reason together. I don't understand why. Can someone just make me understand why? Why do couples get married without trying to work this together? Unscripted. Hi guys, welcome to Unscripted with Doi, where we share true life experience with you guys. We share our honest opinion about people's experience and we try as much as possible not to be biased in giving our honest opinion so if this is the first time you're coming across this channel or you're seeing this beautiful face for the very first time hi welcome my name is doi please feel free to subscribe to this channel i'm begging you let us build a great community of great people together and to my returning subscribers you guys are so wonderful thank you so much for always tuning in i really appreciate and uh, it's broke my heart to talk about this but i have to talk about this so that other couples we know that they need to work together as a family so that they won't be in this kind of mess okay today's video is mainly about child care with social service yes so there is this african family that they are going through a serious case presently with social service in the uk yes before i continue this video I want your parents to know that anything you do in your house, your children are taking note of it. Either good or bad. They are taking note of it. So the story goes thus. So this particular case I want to talk about is a family of four. After the children resumed from December break in those January, they were asked to write about their holiday experience, Christmas experience, everything. The first born wrote everything that happened and uh do you know that it included in the story things that happened in the house how the father you know beat up the mother and uh, different things that happened he explained everything in the story and how it affects him how he's not happy and the story was taken up it was it was actually supposed to be uh you know the experience and okay maybe you know in in africa maybe they will uh, guide us and everything but no here it, it was a tutored case entirely so it's moved from you sharing your own the experience to a serious case they took it all because to them uh the mental health of that child is being messed up yes it's been messed up already so they called the mother i think the mother um according to the story the mother denied being beaten but that child still repeated it. Here, children are top priority. Yes, children are top priority. And they believe that they cannot just suddenly make things up. So for a child like that to, to come up to write out what happened, he actually included their experience, Christmas experience. You know, he wrote th different things and he included that what doesn't make him happy during the holiday. He wrote what makes him happy and he included what does not make him happy during the holiday. You know, as a parent, you just need to be careful. This is not even parents beating children now. This is parents fighting. Like the mother, the father beating the mother or both parents are fighting. Do you understand? And now it's kind of turning to a case of is going to affect this child mental health this and that and it has turned to a social service case presently now the boy is at the verge of being taken away from the family and even the second child yes now this case now progressed to another level whereby they have to call the mother to come and testify to what the child has said but you know there is a lot of back and front from the family, the husband talking to the wife to say no. You know, she's confused on what to do. She's confused. To my own understanding, I don't know. If she confessed to it, maybe the, those children will not be taken from her or they will be taken from her. I don't know. 
because uh, they might be like if your husband is beating you and you're not even doing anything or you're not even reporting the, the case maybe your mental health is being affected already you might not be stable you might not be okay to take care of those children so they might decide like you are taking these kids away from you something like that it might happen that way so there is different ways in which people interpret things in this place so we just have to be careful because children here is their most priority yes so this family they are at the verge of losing their two children because of two adult mistake everything you are doing in your home is being registered being noticed being registered by these children in your brain they might not talk but they know they understand they might not fully understand it but it's affecting these children in one way or the other see let me tell you one thing again you know that there is always social service around school environments they are there to watch out if a child is happy if a child is not excited you know they watch out and they start monitoring everything about you even if you didn't invite them they will invite themselves into your life that is why you, you need to be very very careful even if this teacher did not even ask these children to write out what really happened during the holiday or something like that it might even affect that child in the class where others are happy you know he might not be happy you need to consider those children now this family is at the verge of losing their children to so, such a service what do you think the mother should do what do you think this mother should do to me <laughs> i would advise her to open up she might be lucky she might be lucky but before she do that i will just advise her to speak to a child care lawyer to put her through so if truly really this man is beating the wife maybe it's a one-time thing or is a constant thing he needs to stop this couple needs to come together reason together because of their children if they are going to lose their children they need to work hand in hand stop their differences face their fear stop the differences try to understand each other if not they are going to lose their children this is what we always say Anything that happens in the home will definitely affect the children in one way or the other. So, as a parent, you need to be very, very careful. These children are in your care. Take care of them. I wish this family all the best because personally, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't really know best advice to give them. But honestly, they are in deep shit presently because the chances of such a service taking the children away from them is around 60 70 80 percent because you know when i went deep into this story and uh, there were so many other things that were said in fact they start said you know putting one thing together the attitude of the child in the school the way he communicates the way he interacts to others they put it together you know that is how they come up with the mental health of a thing that this is affecting the, the child mental health and this blah, 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 and blah. I really pray this couple come out of this deep shit because it is not funny at all. So I decided to bring out a story for people to learn one or two things from them. Don't fight in front of your children. It, it is okay for you people to have an argument. You can discuss it inside. Discuss it in your room. You don't, you don't necessarily need to fight. Don't allow your children to start seeing you arguing, shouting on each other. Do it in your bedroom and settle everything and case close. Intending couples, couples in the UK, you people should learn from this. And couples that are coming in, learn from this story so that you will find yourself in this kind of scenario. There's a lot of cases as well. A lot of cases like this. Please, I'm begging you. I really hope we learn one or two things from this case. Please don't be in this scenario. Try as much as possible. Couples fight and couples settle. Try as much as possible to sort out your differences without it escalating or leading to something that will have a negative impact on your children. I wish all the couples all the best. So guys, this is going to be the end of this video. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please, I'm begging you, please, please subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate your subscription and turn on your notification bell 
to get notified anytime I drop a new video. So guys, until the next time, I remain your one and only host at the Doi on this show, Unscripted with Doi. So guys, take care of yourself and be good. Catch ya. Bye-bye.